high questions in analysis in this textbook. Question one, let xn be a sequence such that xn is equal to or greater than zero for any positive integer n. Suppose that the limit xn equals zero, show that the limit xn square equals zero. Let xn be a sequence such that limit xn less than Show that there exists a real number big N, such that if N is greater than big N, then Xn is less than R. Let K be an integer equal to or greater than zero. Show this equivalence relation. Solution. Suppose that the limit Xn equals zero. Let y be a real number greater than zero. Since limit xn equals zero and xn is equal to or greater than zero for any positive integer n, there exists big n greater than zero such that we have this inequality when n is greater than big n. This gives this inequality, one n is greater than big n. This implies the limit xn square root equals zero. Question two, let the, the limit xn equals a. Then there exists a big n greater than zero, such that one n is greater than big n. We have this inequality. This gives this inequality. One n is greater than big n. So x n is less than r. One n is greater than big n. Question three. Let y n be a sequence defined by y n equals x n plus k. Suppose that the limit xn equals x for any epsilon greater than zero. There exists a big n greater than zero, such that one n is greater than big n. We have this inequality. So one n is greater than big n minus k. We have this inequality. This implies the limit of y n equals x. Now, suppose that the limit y n equals x for any epsilon greater than zero, there exists a big n greater than zero, such that one n is greater than big n. We have this inequality. So when n prime is greater than big n plus k, we have this inequality. This implies the limit xn equals x. We thus conclude this equivalence. Question one. Suppose that limit xn equals x. If xn is equal to or less than m for any positive integer, n, show that x is equal to or less than m. If xn is equal to or greater than m for any positive integer n, show that x is equal to or greater than n. If xn is less than m for any positive integer n, is necessary that x is less than m? Question two. Let x and y and be two convergent sequences. If x n is equal to or greater than y n for any positive integer n, show that the limit x n is equal to or greater than the limit y n. Give an example of sequences x n y n 
such that xn is greater than yn for any positive integer n and limit xn equals limit yn. Solution. Question 1. Suppose that xn is equal to or less than m for any positive integer n, let epsilon greater than 0. There exists a bigger n greater than 0, such that 1n is greater than big n. We have this inequality. Since this, we have this inequality. 1n is greater than big n. So we get x is less than epsilon plus m for any epsilon greater than 0. If x is greater than m, then put epsilon equals x minus m. Then we get x is less than x. This contradiction shows x is equal to or less than m. Now, suppose that xn is equal to or greater than m for any positive integer n, let epsilon greater than 0. There exists a big n greater than 0, such that 1n is greater than big n. We have this inequality. This says we have this inequality. So x is greater than m minus epsilon for any epsilon greater than 0. If x is less than m, then we put epsilon equals m minus x. Then we get x is greater than x. This contradiction shows x is equal to or greater than m. Example, let xn equals 1 minus 1 over n for any positive integer n. Then xn is less than 1 for any positive integer n. But the limit xn equals 1. Now, we have two convergent sequences, xn, yn. Suppose that xn is equal to or bigger than yn for any positive integer n, let epsilon greater than 0. There are positive number n1 and n2, such that 1n is greater than n1. We have this inequality. 1n is greater than n2. We have this inequality. Then 1n is greater than the maximum of n1, n2. We have those inequalities. So from those inequalities, we get x is greater than y minus 2 epsilon for any epsilon greater than 0. If x is less than y, put epsilon equals y minus x over 2. Then we get x is greater than x. This contradiction shows x is equal to or greater than y. Example, xn equals 1 yn equals 1 minus 1 over n for all positive integer n. Then xn is greater than yn for all positive integer n. But limit xn equals limit yn equals 1. Thanks for watching. Bye.